ghettos of America, surrounded by his factories and all the physical components of his economic system. We have been made into the wretched of the earth, who are relegated to the position of spectators, while the white racists run their international con game on the suffering peoples. We have been brainwashed to believe that we are powerless and that there is nothing we can do for ourselves to bring about a speedy liberation for our people. We have been taught we must please our oppressors, that we are 10% of the population and therefore we must confine our tactics to categories calculated not to disturb the sleep of our tormentors. The power structure inflicts pain and brutality upon the peoples and then provides controlled outlets for their pain in ways least likely to upset them or interfere with their process of exploitation. The people must repudiate channels of established tricks and deceitful snares by the exploiting oppressors. The people must oppose everything that the opposer and oppressor supports and support everything that he opposes. If black people go about their struggle for liberation in a way that the oppressor dictates and sponsors, then we will have degenerated to the level of groveling flunkies for the oppressor himself. The racist dog oppressors have no rights which the oppressed people are bound to respect. As long as the racist dogs pollute the earth with the evil of their actions, they do not deserve any respect at all. And the rules of their game written in the people's blood are beneath contempt. Black people must now move from the grassroots through the perfumed circles of the black bourgeoisie to seize any means necessary a proportionate share of the power vested and collected in the structure of America. We must organize and unite to combat by long resistance the brutal force used against us daily. The power structure depends upon the use of force within retaliation. This is why they have made it a felony to teach guerrilla warfare. This is why they want people unarmed. The racist dog oppressor fears the armed people. They fear, most of all, black people armed with weapons and ideology of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. And unarmed people are slaves or subject to slavery at any given moment. If a government is not afraid of its people, it will arm the people from foreign aggression. Black people are held captive in the midst of their oppressors. There was a world of difference between 30 million unarmed, submissive black people and 30 million black people armed with freedom and defense guns and strategic methods of liberation. When a mechanic wants to fix a broken down car engine, he must have the necessary tools to do the job. When people move for liberation, they must have the basic tools of liberation. The gun. Only with the power of the gun can the black masses halt the terror and brutality perpetuated against them by the armed racist power structure. And, in one sense, only by the power of the gun can the whole world be transformed into the earthly paradise dreamed of by people from time immemorial. The blood, sweat, tears and suffering of black people are the foundation of the wealth and power of the United States of America. We were forced to build America, and if forced to, we will tear it down. The immediate result of this destruction will be suffering and bloodshed. 
But the end result will be perpetual peace for all mankind. Huey P. Newton, Dr. Huey P. Newton's Defense of Self-Defense, 1964.